likes uh, uh, of me now is my dad. I used to love my dad a bit. He's a gorgeous man. He's still a gorgeous man. He's 94 now, I think. And uh, in the 60s, he went to the Congo, the United Nations Peacekeeping Force. He had a tattoo saying United Nations, world, blah, 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 all that on his thing. And I was amazed. I've never seen a tattoo before. And I used to watch it all the time. And it was part of it. And I expected it to rub off, and it never did. I always remember him telling me that he got to Kinshasa and got attacked and uh, he's in a ditch and there's bullets spitting all around his head. He thinks, what am I doing here? I'm a married man, I've got kids. And it's going, bing, bing. And people I know actually died. So Luke Kelly went to the Congo, a nice young man. Before he went, he gave me his guitar and I would have been a famous rock star now. But my mother made me give the guitar back. And Luke got killed out in the Congo and got shot through the windscreen and the truck he was driving. Um, this is just me and my dad. Uh, when he came back from the Congo, uh, if my poor dad fell asleep in a chair, uh, I, I hadn't seen him for seven months, I would just go and stare at him like that and think, it's my dad, it's my dad. And at night time I wouldn't go to sleep and I'd stand by his bed and go, it's my dad, it's my dad. And he'd go, no, no, leave your father alone, he has to get some sleep. You think I'd take my eyes off him? No way, I was going to keep him this time. So this is called Shadows Hold Their Breath. Uh, very sadly, he was a great carpenter, he made bikes, he um, had a garden plot, he did all stuff so, like that, that I couldn't do. And he asked me to come out, I'd be reading Emily Dickinson, I just got into Emily Dickinson. And uh, I didn't want to leave Emily to go and help my dad saw something in hell, and oh, and I protested it. So um, I was reading, there is a certain slant of light and he called me out to hold something, thank you so much. And uh, the other line of that is shadows hold their breath. I watched the world ripple on his arm, ink sunk into his skin, the UN tattoo flexing to each exertion, crisp curls of wood releasing their scent, pine flooding the moment that will forever be 1963, a ray of sunshine opening a trap door into the summer air, a dimension or two away. Dust motes dancing like overweight atoms, sawdust balancing like pollen on his hair, as he sings to the naked wood, I think that I will never see. Shh, shh, a poem as lovely as a tree. Shh, shh. Of such moment is love made, the plain whispering its secrets to the wood, the spirit level winking its bubble. And finally, a poem for Jan. This is called Sun and Moon. Uh, she has another birthday coming up uh, very shortly. She'll be hitting uh, a ripe old age. And uh, we thought we'd be in the bar of the arts to celebrate it. So I better celebrate it now. This is last year's birthday poem for her. It's called Sun and Moon. Your glance like water sliding over stone. Your smile a page about to turn. And your eyes the book I read and reread. Your love, my sun and moon. Thank you. Ah, no problem.